send the people that they didn't talk to me, I just didn't talk to me either. Follow me on Instagram and they look at me like, ooh, this girl changed, like, glowed up. And I'm just like, yes, bitch, I did. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you guys a back to school makeup tutorial. Basically something simple that you can use every day for high school. And throughout the video I'll be talking to you guys about my experience throughout my four years of high school. If you guys didn't know, I did graduate high school in 2016. So I guess I'm pretty much going to tell you the real experience. Everybody has a different experience. Every single high school is different. I went to like I went to two high schools throughout my four years of high school. I'm gonna tell you guys my experience from my freshman year. For those of you guys that are gonna be freshmen, and I'm gonna tell you guys all throughout my senior year. For those of you guys that are gonna be seniors or whatever. So let's get started. I'm gonna pin my hair back. If you guys see me looking like this at the camera, is because. I haven't really been sleeping very well lately, so my eyes are like kind of reacting very badly towards the light. So, yeah. I'm gonna start off. I already have a clean face. I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the um, one heck of a block primer. I want to start off with my base first because it's just like just starting off with a blank canvas. So, I'm gonna use. The MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC50. I'm using this foundation now because I did get tanned when I was in VR. And I was wondering I was wondering if you guys wanted to see a video of me talking about my trip in Dominican Republic. I might film one. I don't know. I I wanna like talk about how my experience was after not going for like six or five years so let me know if you guys want to see a video and i'll try to like put clips of like certain things i did over there because i try to vlog but if you if you're from dominican republic you know that you cannot be taking out your phone just like that out there so i don't usually use mac foundations since I have this foundation already, I decided to just use it. I'm going to use this Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just buff that into my skin. I feel like for school, if you have good skin, you don't necessarily need to apply foundation. You could just apply a little bit of concealer in your under eyes if you don't sleep. Because I know us teenagers do not sleep at all. Like me, my dad told me the other day, Oh my god, Naomi, what's up with your bags? And I'm just like, um... I've been falling asleep at like 6 or 7 in the morning every day, so that's pretty much why. So, if you have good skin, you could just cover your under eyes with concealer or, yeah, pretty much. It does look a little dark because I feel like I'm getting a little lighter again. So, once I apply concealer, it'll brighten up when I oxidizes and stuff it's, it's gonna brighten up it's gonna like match my neck now i'm going to conceal my under eyes i'm gonna be using this nyx sculpt and highlight face duo um it has a contour contour shade side and a highlight so when putting your concealer you always want to make sure that you put it in a triangle shape under your eyes Well, let, let me let me start on the advice as let's say for freshmen or starting high school. Um, just make sure you always do what you gotta do in school, because a lot of people think that your freshman year or anything doesn't matter. But I honestly messed up my whole first three years of high school. Well, not really, but. If I would have done better my my junior year, I would have probably had an easier. Like the better you do your freshman, your freshman 
senior and soft the better you do your freshman sophomore and junior year the easier your senior year is gonna be like honestly I was struggling senior year because I didn't do good on my first three years because I was just following the crew and I just didn't really um I just didn't really do much in school so that followed me very badly and um, all my friends had early dismissal, late arrivals and I'm over here having a um, full schedule like literally one of the like almost every senior had a late arrival which means like they will they can arrive they don't have to arrive to school first period like they'll arrive second or third period which means it's like at 10 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. Mind you, I had to start at like 7.45 every day. Luckily, um, I had some great teachers, so they didn't really give me a hard time my senior year. I don't remember much of my freshman year of high school, but I was going to um, a school where um, it's in Valhalla. But yeah, I was going to a school in Valhalla and it was it was alright it wasn't like all that but I didn't really communicate much with everybody like I was just always by myself or like I had I didn't have much friends and um I was so like innocent like it was just like everybody was just so ahead ahead of time like just so like trying to act grown and I'm just here like a little a little girl or whatever like I didn't have a raw mentality like they all did and I'm just like whatever whatever now that I blended that in I'm going to oh I can't see I'm going to be contouring just a tiny little bit you don't really need to do this for school but just to bronze up your face just a little tiny bit before you know if you look on low pale just bronze up your face a little bit but yeah my sophomore year of high school um i was still in Valhalla in the school of Valhalla that i'm telling you guys about i was still in Valhalla and it was basically the same problem like something happened to me in high school which is something i made a video about um which is kind of stupid but I remember I was on vacation and I had left on vacation and I had a little boot thing like I had a little boyfriend and then one of my best friends ended up going out with him while I was gone so basically she stole my nigga basically while I was gone so um you know, I, you know how you don't feel some type of way if you go towards a girl and you won't even go towards the guy like when you're younger, and like that's something that a lot of people still do. Like if a, if let's say they have a boy, if I have a boyfriend right now and he does something with a girl, I'll, like the girls go for the girls, they don't go for the guy, which is something that us girls tend to do a lot, which is bad. And I I, I kind of had to learn that hard way, like. Just don't even go for the girl. Just like talk to the guy, cause like at the end of the day you're gonna look dumb. Trying to, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. But yeah, the girl, whatever she went for the man's, and I felt some type of way. So I um I cyber bully her, whatever you want to consider it. But it wasn't my intention, like at all. I'm going to use this Dermablend powder, it's literally almost done which is really sad because this is a gift and it's the best gift I've ever gotten because it's so good, honestly. So, yeah, about the, what else, what else do I have to tell you guys, what else did I go through throughout high school? Um. Alright, now that I powdered, powdered my face, I'm going to be using 
I'm gonna use this technique that I, I learned from this girl named Kayla on my Snapchat. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little clip. No, that's some other girl. For her eyebrows, she powders her eyebrows before um, filling it in. Because if you have oily skin, like moi, the um, pomade tends to spread everywhere. So you're going you're gonna to want to make sure that there's no type of moisture around your eyebrows. So now I'm going to just lightly fill in my eyebrows with this next Michael Brow Pencil in the color chocolate. After almost a whole freaking hour of doing my eyebrows, I am completely done. I'm not completely satisfied with how they came out, but you guys get the idea. If you guys want to see a better tutorial on how to I do my eyebrows, um, stay tuned because I will be doing it. Just, I have to figure out a way that I like doing my eyebrows. Cause now I'm just going to powder my eyelids since I apply concealer. And I'm just like for school, I will literally just wear my lids regular, just like this, with no eyeshadow. Oh my god. No eyeshadow, nothing. So, I'm gonna take a whatever powder fell down. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some mascara. So now I'm going to tell you guys my experience of, because I basically told you guys what happened to me my freshman year. I didn't really do much. I was just this little, little whatever. Um, like a little child. I don't, I don't really remember much of my freshman year. I just know that um, I did it bad in school. Like, I was, going to, I was going to a school where it was just like, I didn't really understand much. So it was like... Mm -hmm. So, my sophomore year, I was going through something. I didn't want to go back to school. Like I wanted, I wanted to move to DR because something was going on at the time. Everybody kept saying that some girl was gonna fight me when I came back, like to New York, and it never happened. We ended up being good, really good friends after. And then I moved because when I was living in Valhalla. My house got caught on fire. Um, if you guys want to hear a story time of how my house got caught on fire and how we were able to leave the house, then I would do that because it was crazy. And I was injured at the time, so I don't know. It, it was literally God that saved me. Literally. So yeah, my house got caught on fire and then I moved. And I started a new school. I moved somewhere, which is where I live now. I'm not going to say where because it's just like, if you know me, you know where I live. But if you don't, then just know I live in the Westchester County. And um, I moved here and I started school. And the change of like how students are in Valhalla and how they are here. I was just like, oh no, nah. hold up, hold up, what is this? Like, the way that they act, the way that they act um, here is just so ghetto, crazy, and I'm just like, whoa, it was crazy. So, um, yeah, like, it was just a big change. Like, I remember when I first, literally my first day of school here, my junior year, um, over there, nobody would talk back to a teacher, nobody would make fun of a teacher, like where I, where I was at before I started school here. And then, um, what's it called? And then, um, I was in first period. He was, like, literally out of high school, like, out of that, the school that I was in, out of all the teachers, he was one of my favorites. He was a good teacher. The fir first period... 
I remember they were um disrespecting him and I'm just like, whoa, what is going on? Like what? So I'm just like there, like me when I started school here, I just kept it quiet and I just let friends come to me. Like I wasn't gonna um sit there and like freaking try to be friends with everybody. But the good thing is that oh I am glowing. The good thing is that I had a cousin that I had two cousins that were in the school, so it wasn't like I didn't know anybody. So I was safe by that, whatever. I didn't know anybody at the moment, now everybody seems to know me and everybody seems to talk shit about me, so whatever. Anyways, I am pretty much done with my makeup. This is what I would do to go to school. I'm gonna apply any type of lipstick because what I used to wear in high school was just lipsticks. Like, I didn't really do my makeup much, I was just wearing lipsticks. So I'm gonna put this um, nudish, pinkish color. It's um, a little sample lipstick from Tarte. And it doesn't say color or nothing. So. Okay, I'm gonna put this nude. Let's try this nude color. Cause I'm not used to this tan. Like I haven't been so tanned in so long. Guys, this is literally the most I could do right now. Please bear with the lipstick, but it just wasn't working out. I guess I got so tanned that it just looks crazy. Um. This is what I came up with for uh, an everyday makeup look for high school students. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for middle school students because it's just too much work. And you guys are in middle school, you guys have perfect skin, you guys are young. I don't think you guys should apply that much makeup on. Um, before I end this video, I'm going to tell you guys a little story of my high school experience. But anyways, like I was saying, my junior year of high school. I moved here and it was just it was just crazy because it was just a big change and I'm not going to lie when I did move here it did change me in a big way like it made me like I, I mean I don't know if it's because I got older or maybe because of the area but I did get a little ghetto and a little ratchet or whatever but you know, I feel like I've always been that way. I've always been a certain way. And I was just always afraid to show it in my other school because nobody was ever like that. Um, I remember before, in my other school, everybody used to call me Nene. And they used to, um, they used to always, like, think of me as a clown. Because I used to just, I don't know, my accent was funny. And the, the this shit I used to say was just funny. So everybody used to think of me like, oh, the clown. And then when, he, when I used to walk by the hotel, it was just like, hey, Nene. And I was like, hey. And it's funny because half the people that didn't talk to me freshman and sophomore year follow me on Instagram. And they look at me like, ooh, this girl changed. Like, glowed up. But I'm just like, yes, bitch, I did. Yes, I did. Um, but anyways, my senior year of high school, it was, no, my junior year, let me finish with my junior year. My junior year, I basically, you know, everything was easy. Class was easy. Every single subject was easy. The teachers were really nice. The teachers were perfectly fine. Like, everything was just perfect. And then, I, ha I met, like, a crew of friends. Like, I made, I made some friends because I used to take ESL. I personally asked to take ESL because I felt like, to be honest with you guys, I took ESL because it's easier for your regions. Like, 
Well, it, it's easy if you get more help, like extra help, extra time when you take ESL or like any other thing. So I took ESL when I got here, when I first came to New York from the Dominican Republic. So I felt like I needed to take it one more time my junior year. So I asked them, oh yes, I do want to take ESL. I told them I, I want to take ESL. So they put it and I had ESL and then I made some Spanish yeah. friends. And I felt so happy to have some people that were the same culture as me, the same nationality, because it's like, oh my God, finally somebody I could relate to. Not saying that I have a problem with like Italians or like anybody that was in Valhalla. It was just, it feels nice to actually meet with people from your own race. I, I fuck with anybody, like I fuck with anybody's race, but I'm saying like, I don't know, someone that's the same nationality as you, like it's cool, like it's, it's you feel like, I don't know, it's, it's you probably got, you, you guys probably know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, my junior year, I made, I made a group of friends. And uh, they used to do this thing where they used to do who, hookies, hookies, whatever. Basically, un corito sana con los primos Lucas. <laughs> um, they used to do these um, coritos, like little get togethers, during school. So basically, sorry mom and dad, but basically my junior year, I was I would skip school, like I would leave school early, and then they'll go, they'll have like a little get together like smoking hookah and drinking that's where I went wrong like that's where I went wrong my high school like my high school um years and then that's the reason why I was struggling my senior year of high school it was crazy it was sad and it's funny because at the end of the day the people the people that influenced me to do that to go to leave school early like they ended up like getting their way into graduating like early or like getting their way into getting better grades and shit and then they left me behind like it left me behind i mean i didn't get left behind nothing i thankfully i graduated with my class like I, it wasn't like yeah i struggled like i have to freaking crawl my way into graduating but you know at least i did it and even though I struggled, I graduated with all the requirements, and that's all that really matters. Like, I, at the end of the day, I thought I wasn't going to do it, and I was really going to hate myself if I didn't, because it's like, damn, I'm letting my whole family down, I'm letting myself down. So, if you guys are in high school, and you guys are juniors, sophomores, freshmen, if you guys are seniors, like... Make sure you do your shit right because you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. If you don't have a high school diploma, if your grades aren't good, like my grades weren't the best. They really weren't the best in high school. And just don't let people influence you to do something they aren't supposed to. Like, yeah, you can have fun in school, this and that, but make sure you get your shit together and make sure you get your shit done. Because high school, believe it or not, is important. It matters for anything. Like, if you want to get a job, if you want to do anything, like you need a high school diploma. So, my advice to you freshmen, um, to you freshmen, is get your shit together. Don't slack. Make sure you get all your homework. Uh, make sure you turn all your homeworks because me, I never turn in my homeworks and that messed me up. And make sure. You guys just do what y'all gotta do. Don't let people influence you to do bad. Because I did, and I struggled. Like, I literally was missing more regions, and it was my living environment regions. And everybody's like, oh, why don't you pass that regions? Because it's the easiest regions. And I'm just like, all right, first of all, I hate science. So, y'all niggas gotta come the fuck down because. <laughs> mm -mm. What was I saying? That you were ending it. Yeah, pretty much just get your shit together. Don't let people influence you to do bad. And, um, yeah, then you'll be good. I'm, I promise you guys, you'll be good. Just do everything you have to do. And your senior year will go by this, like this, like a piece of cake. If you do everything good your freshman year, your, your sophomore year, and your junior year. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe.
if you guys like my little confusing, disturbing, retarded little story time on the side that I added to this video, um, like this video or something because, you know, why not? Um, <laughs> like this video, subscribe, and um, please subscribe because um, why did I try to get me to 3,000 subscribers? Um, comment down below some suggestions of what you guys would like to see on my channel. If you guys would like to see my sister on my channel, more of my friends on my channel, more challenges, more makeup tutorials, anything. Or if even if you guys want to see more talk videos of me, just let me know because I'm a very talkative person and I love to talk because I am very talkative. I'm like a fucking bird talking like I'm very talkative. So if you guys want to see a video of me talking or videos of me talking, my shit, then just comment down below or like this video or get my my channel to 30 you get 30 <laughs> or get my channel to 3,000 subscribers I'll see you guys on my next video let's go